Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 30 from the CSET Multi-Subject Math and Science exam. A nice problem. It reviews some intermediate ideas with uh, place value and scientific notation, specifically negative scientific notation. So let's take a look at number 30. It says, what value does the 2 represent in the number 2.1 times 10 to the negative third. Now notice uh, we have a couple different components here. One is scientific notation going on and particularly uh, negative scientific notation. It's 2.1 times 10 to the negative third power. Now whenever you're dealing with scientific notation, negative scientific notation, you're dealing with small numbers, values much, very, very small, uh, less than 1. If we had 2.1 times 10 to the positive third or 10 to the positive tenth number, we'd be dealing with a value that is much greater than 1, a really big number. So negative, negative scientific notation, small number. Positive scientific notation, big number. All right, so we have scientific notation. <laughs> and then we also have this other aspect. Um, where when you see words like value and represent and number, those are clues that you're dealing with place value. And we'll talk about place value in a moment. But uh, definitely uh, um, those are cues, value, represent, and number that we're dealing with actually uh, uh, things involving place value. All right, but let's first, let's chip away at this part here, scientific notation with negative uh, exponents. This means that I take the 2.1, and since it's 10 to the negative third, that means I move the decimal over to the left, three spaces. One, two, three. And I drop my decimal. Now I add in the appropriate zeros. So 2.1 2 times 10 to the negative third is actually equal to 0 0.0021. Now how do we read that? Well, this is where place value comes into to place. This remembers the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is the thousandths, and this is the ten thousandths. If I was looking at, at how do I read this number, I would be like, look at the, the, the last two digits, it would be 21 ten thousandths. If that's what the question was, what number is this? It would be 21 ten thousandths, but that's not what it's asking me. It's asking us only to look at the two digit, and the two digits is in the thousandths place. So we can think about this as two thousandths, which gets us to the answer B. Hmm. All right. When dealing with negative scientific notation, you move the, the, move the decimal over to the left. If this was positive scientific notation, like that was a positive three, then we would have 2.1 times 10 times 10 to the positive third power. I would move it over three spaces to the right, and this would be come 2100. All right. So negative scientific notation, small number. Positive scientific notation, big number. Positive number, big, 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 big number. These values here, this would be like two to the ten thousandths place. This is two to the thousandths place, this is two to the hundredths place, and this is two to the tenths place. All right, so make sure you you have those values and those place value. Tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths. Okay, I know I'm reviewing this stuff kind of fast, but I'm hoping that it's just a review of place value and kind of just review a scientific notation and gives you that, that push you need to sort of get these concepts under your belt. Okay, team, the answer again is B. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.